Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom, family. Shalom. Get the Sirach 11 and 14. Oh. I just want, I just want, because I heard what you said, you said you're in the lowest state, right? And basically it's going in with the soldiers talking about that you have to be obedient to the commandments of God. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? If you go against God, guess what? God going to go against you. All right. I Hold up, sis. Hold up, hold up, sis. Hold up. We about to prove to you some things, right? Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. Read it again. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. from who? Of the Lord. So, what we trying to tell you is, you in this lower state because you don't know God. Right. That's all I'm, hold on, we trying to tell you that. You don't know God. Because yes. if you know God, right, you'll be keeping His commandments. Right. Yes. right? So guess what? You say you want to get closer to God. You want right. to know God. Get John 15 and verse 14. Bring it out. We family. We're going to give you the understanding. Today is your day to get the understanding. Right. Now, what you do with it is up to you. Right. right. But guess what? We're going to give it to you. We're going to show you how to get close to God. Read what you got. The book of John, chapter 15, verse 14. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever, I command you. You see that? God said, if you want to be close to me, if you want to be my friend, guess what you got to do, sis? Read it again. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever, I command you. So God telling you, look, to get to know me, you got to do what I command you to do. Right. You understand that, sis? Get Isaiah 55 and verse 7. Bring it out. So understand this. You are an Israelite. That's right. right. And being an Israelite come with instructions. Right. We have to keep the commandments of God. That's the bottom line. It's simple as that. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse 7. Bring it out. Let the wicked forsake his way. So, sis. You gotta forsake your ways. It's only one. Hold up. It's only one thing. Hold up, hold up, sis. I, I, hold up, sis. What's your name here? Yeah. All right. It's All right. One thing I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna go. All right, sister Israelite. Sister Israelite. Read that again. Let the wicked forsake his ways. So, sister Israelite, you have to what? Subdue your own understanding. Yeah. You can't be going on what you think. Right. What you learn in this captivity. Yep. The bottom line, what the white man taught you. Right. You right. can't do it like that. Bring it out. Read. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the right, as you were, and the unrighteous man in his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. You see that? So, sis, you got to subdue your understanding and return to your God and start doing his commandments and he's going to have mercy upon you. Hey, that Lord state you in, right. he's going to start to rise you up. Bring it right. up. Right? You're going you're gonna to become a God-fearing woman. You're going to become that daughter of Sarah. Right. And guess right. what? If you want that mercy, go to Sirach 18, verse 30, I think. Sirach 18, 30. That's what it is. Yeah. Go ahead. If you want that mercy, this is what you have to do. Sirach 18, verse 30. Let's read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 18, verse 30. Bring it out. Go, not after thy lust, but refrain thyself from thine appetites. If thou givest thy soul the desires that please her. Oh, drop down with us. I will have mercy upon them who receive discipline. Verse 14, read that. Verse 14. He had mercy on them 
that received discipline. Read it again. He had mercy on them that received discipline. So sister, you got to humble down and start keeping the commandments of God. Yeah, oh. I do the best I can. He going to have mercy on you when and you I start. I don't have the lesson. So sister, sister, what can you change right now on the outer appearance? Well, my, I know my auto, but I only have one problem with I'm not blustering. I'm not skinny. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take our time. Let's take our time. Hey, sir, sir, we got to take our time. Yeah. We got to learn the basics of the world. I know my dress part, but as far as lux, you know, lux, Okay, lux so things, you understand. Hold up, hold up, hold up, sister Israelite. Hold up, sister Israelite. There's only one problem I have. I'm not speaking that I'm coming to. Sister Israelite, you understand, you understand that you got to put on a dress. Yeah. You understand that? You understand that you have to wear, uh, you can't be wearing red and pink and blonde hair. You understand that, Sister Israelite? You understand that? Right. I'm going to talk. I got y'all. Sister Israelite, Sister Israelite, that's what you have to do. You have to repent. Do you know how to repent? Yeah. How? Say, God, I keep on my sins and I'm going to get you to do my savings and die in the house. I'm, I know. Sister, I Sister Israelite. Let, before you go, let us explain it to you, right? Read Acts 3 19. Get out. Get out. We, we gonna read it to you, sis. Because you, yeah, you could be just saying, oh God, forgive me for my sins and this, that, and that. Get what you gonna do the next hour. Get what you gonna do the next hour. You understand? You gonna put on a pair of red spandex. Right. You understand that, sis? Hey, hey, hey. You gonna say, oh God, forgive me for my sins, and after that, guess what you gonna do? You gonna be walking around with blind hand in your head. Right. right. You understand that, sis? So guess what? This is how you repent. No, you know, you got. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Yeah. Repent ye, therefore, and be converted. So it says, look, repent. What that mean? Look, sus. Return to God. Right. Right. Stop sinning. Return to God. Right. That's what that means. And guess what? What's going to convert us, sister Israelite? What's going to convert us? Return to God. Return to God? All right, read Psalm 19, the verse. Bring it out. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of what is perfect? The law of the Lord is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple. That's why we out here. We out here to tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans, you have to keep the commandments of God. Right. Right. That's the yeah. message. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.